In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Litany of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Christ, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us. Christ, hear us. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Holy Virgin of virgins, pray for us. Mother of Christ, pray for us. Mother of the Church, pray for us. Mother of divine grace, pray for us. Mother most pure, pray for us. Mother most chaste, Pray for us, Mother inviolate. Pray for us, Mother undefiled. Pray for us, Mother most amiable. Pray for us, Mother most admirable. Pray for us, Mother of good counsel. Pray for us, Mother of our Creator. Pray for us, Mother of our Savior. Pray for us, Virgin most prudent. Pray for us, Virgin most venerable. Pray for us, Virgin most renowned. Pray for us, Virgin most powerful. Pray for us, Virgin most merciful. Pray for us, Virgin most faithful. Pray for us, Mirror of justice. Pray for us, Seat of wisdom. Pray for us, Cause of our joy. Pray for us, spiritual vessel. Pray for us, vessel of honor. Pray for us, singular vessel of devotion. Pray for us, mystical rose. Pray for us, tower of David. Pray for us, tower of ivory. Pray for us, house of gold. Pray for us, Ark of the Covenant. Pray for us, Gate of Heaven. Pray for us, Morning Star. Pray for us, Health of the Sick. Pray for us, Refuge of Sinners. Pray for us, Comforter of the Afflicted. Pray for us, Help of Christians. Pray for us, Queen of Angels. Pray for us, Queen of Patriarchs, pray for us. Queen of Prophets, pray for us. Queen of Apostles, pray for us. Queen of Martyrs, pray for us. Queen of Confessors, pray for us. Queen of Virgins, pray for us. Queen of All Saints, pray for us. Queen Conceived Without Original Sin, pray for us. Queen assumed into heaven, pray for us. Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, pray for us. Queen of Families, pray for us. Queen of Peace, pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Grant, we beseech thee, O Lord our God, that we thy servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body, and by the glorious intercession of the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedicta 
benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Coming up next, the Daily Mass, here on EWTN. Hello, family. We know that the Holy Rosary is one of the most powerful prayers of the Church. And during May, Mary's month, we can pray the Rosary even more, asking for the intercession of the Blessed Mother to her beloved Son. This month, let's join as a family in prayer for the protection of all human life. So many are invested in the culture of death. But Pope St. John Paul II once said of fellow Christians, we are the people of life. And at EWTN, we are firmly committed to proclaiming and defending a culture of life. Today, we have a special gift for you, a pro-life rosary ebook. This online resource will guide you through the Holy Rosary with meditations that shine a light on the inherent value of every human life. Also, we hope that you'll make a donation today so that we can continue broadcasting the Holy Rosary and proclaiming the pro-life message to the nations. Thank you for your prayers and support. And may Jesus guide us all as we live out the mission of being the people of life. To make a donation and to sign up for the free pro-life rosary ebook, please visit EWTN.com slash pro-life rosary. You may also make a donation by calling us at 1-800-447-EWTN or by sending your gift to EWTN, 5817 Old Leeds Road, Irondale, Alabama, 35210. Live Truth. Live Catholic with Trusted Series features and specials from EWTN Home Video. The EWTN home video highlight for May is The Heresies, Volume 1. The Catholic Church has fought against many heresies from the beginning, and these errors still infiltrate our culture today. Since its founding by Jesus Christ over 2,000 years ago, the Catholic Church has faced attacks. Numerous hostile governments, tyrannical regimes, and revolutionary movements have sought to destroy the Catholic Church from without. But the greater threat? has always been from within. In every generation, the church has contended with heretics over questions concerning the very essence of the religion. We'll see how the ideological struggles of the past are anything but fossilized subjects, but rather living temptations with which the church must contend again and again. Order your DVD at EWTNRC.com 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, or call 1 800 854 6316. Modern life travels at warp speed. Don't get carried away by the culture of death. Take a detour to Father Spitzer's universe at the intersection of faith and reason. Make your destination. Father Spitzer's Universe, Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern on the EWTN. EWTN, live truth, live Catholic. Family, a prayer that we pray together is a powerful prayer. So please pray together with me our EWTN family prayer. Today we pray to be the Lord's instruments. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, let me bring pardon. Where there is doubt, let me plant faith. Where there is despair, let me raise hope. Where there is darkness, let me bear light. Where there is sadness, let me spread joy. O Divine Master, Grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. Amen.
Behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you take no pleasure in the death of the sinner, but rather in the sinner's conversion that he may live. As you mercifully drew your servant Margaret from the path of damnation to the way of salvation, grant that we may serve you with pure hearts, free from the bondage of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. If the wicked man turns away from all the sins he committed, if he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the crimes he committed shall be remembered against him. He shall live because of the virtue he has practiced. Do I indeed derive any pleasure from the death of the wicked, says the Lord God? Do I not re rather rejoice when he turns from his evil way, that he may live? But if a wicked man, turning from the wickedness he has committed, does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life, since he has turned away from all the sins which he committed. He shall surely live, he shall not die. Verbum Domini. <clears throat> the kindness of the Lord is from all e from eternity to eternity. The kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. The kindness of the Lord is so eternity, eternity. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us nor does he requit us according to our crimes. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness toward those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. Dominus vobiscum. Lexio Sancti Evangelii secundum Luca. The tax collectors and sinners were all gathering around to hear Jesus, at which the Pharisees and the scribes murmured. 
This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Then he addressed this parable to them. Who among you, if he has a hundred sheep and loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wasteland and follow the lost one until he finds it? And when he finds it, he puts it on his shoulders in jubilation. Once arrived home, he invites friends and neighbors in and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, there will likewise be more joy in heaven over one repentant sinner than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. What woman, if she has ten silver pieces and loses one, does not light a lamp and sweep the house in a diligent search until she has retrieved what she lost? And when she finds it, she, re- she calls in her friends and neighbors to say, Rejoice with me. I have found the silver piece I lost. I tell you, there will be the same kind of joy before the angels of God over one repentant sinner. Verbum Domini. Today, the Franciscan family observes the feast of St. Cor- Margaret of Cortona, who was a member of the Thor- Third Order. When we read through a typical account of the life of a saint, it often appears that the saints were basically born as holy, selfless people and who rarely fell into sin. They may have some minor faults here and there, but they seem to us to be unreal or untouchable. We have a difficult time relating to them, especially when we know that we ourselves are great sinners in comparison. We might be tempted to think that holiness is something entirely beyond us and is only for those who are the most perfect. Well, if you're looking for a saint who once lived a life of grave sin and still made it to heaven, then today is your lucky day. If Margaret of Cortona was able to become a saint, then we know that it is possible for anyone, despite how sinful they might have been in their past. Margaret was born in 1247 to parents who were farmers in the province of Tuscany in Italy. Her mother died when she was only seven years old and her father married again within a short time. Her father was neglectful towards her, and her stepmother dealt with her harshly for many years. In today's language, we would say that Margaret came from a broken family. As often happens with broken families, Margaret's familial situation had adverse effects upon her and on her life choices. She lacked the parental love, instruction, support, and guidance that she needed. And so when she turned 18, she struck out on her own so that she could get away from her difficult stepmother. She moved in with a young man named Arsenio without being married to him and cohabited with him for nine years. And during their time together, they had a son out of wedlock. And although she was living in this irregular situation, her conscience began to stir within her. And she even prayed for the grace of purity, but was a lot like St. Augustine in this regard. It was difficult for her to break from the sin once and for all. And one day she had been waiting for Arsenio to return home, but he was delayed for quite some time. And finally, the dog came to her, whining and tugging at her dress. And she followed the dog into the forest where she came upon the blood-stained corpse of a man who turned out to be her lover, Arsenio. And this shocked her to her core, this horrible sight, and she thought to herself, where is his soul now? 
And from that moment, she had a firm resolve to live a life of penance and prayer. She tried to return with her son to her parents' home, but she was not well received by her stepmother. Margaret put on penitential clothes, cut her hair short, put a cord around her neck, and knelt at the door of the church where she publicly, publicly asked the people to forgive the scandal she had given by her former way of life. And after she did this, her father and stepmother were displeased with her, with her public act of repentance, and they forbid her from entering their house again. And thus Margaret and her son went to live in Cortona, and her son eventually became a friar. Her parents' rejection was an occasion of severe temptation for her to return to her former way of life, but she was sustained by God's grace in overcoming it. In Cortona, she was obedient to her Franciscan spiritual director and confessor and lived in a poor dwelling as she wept bitterly over her sins and engaged in prayer, fasting, and penance. She begged repeatedly to receive the habit of the Third Order, but did not receive it until three years later. She continued to struggle against severe temptations to relapse into sin, but she persevered in prayer, mortification, and humbling herself. After all, prayer, fasting, charity, and humility are all effective weapons against the evil one. She received many visitors to whom she would minister. She was known to assist people in calling to mind their own sins so that they might be converted. And she is reported to have performed miracles, such as healing the sick, raising a dead boy to life, and casting away evil spirits simply by her holy presence. She died at the age of 50 in 1297 and was canonized a saint in 1728. The story of St. Margaret of Cortona should be a blessed assurance and an inspiration for anyone who is living a life of sin or for anyone who has a loved one who's living in such a situation. Margaret's life is a testimony to the awesome power of God's grace and mercy if we allow him to work in our lives. We should be careful not to judge, to, to harshly judge or shame anyone who might be living in a sinful situation. No one is capable of accurately judging the state of another person's soul, regardless of their objective circumstances. We should allow room for God's grace to work in the heart of each person and to do our best to convey to others God's unconditional, undying love and mercy. It is never too late for anyone to have a conversion to the working of God's grace. Jesus has not come for the self-righteous, those who think that they are perfect and pious of themselves, but he has come for sinners. In fact, in the gospel today, he is accused by the Pharisees of receiving tax collectors and sinners and eating with them. Jesus is not concerned with condemning us, holding our sins over our heads, and publicly shaming us. He is concerned with the salvation of all, including the one neglected sheep that went astray. He does not chide or berate the sheep once it is found and brought back to the fold, but he instead rejoices along with all the saints in heaven. As our Lord says, there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 who have no need of repentance. If our Lord treasures every single person this much, if every soul has this immense dignity in his eyes, then how much more should we also treasure them? I think St. Maximus of Turin puts it very well when he talks about the mercy of God. And he says, if a thief could receive the grace of paradise, how could a Christian, or anyone for that matter, 
be refused forgiveness. Let us offer our petitions to the Father and give him thanks for saving us from sin and death. That the church may reflect the creative power, wisdom, and love of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as she proclaims the good news of salvation to the ends of the earth. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. That our Holy Father lead the people of God in the ways of holiness and virtue. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the Franciscan missionaries of the eternal word, that our lives may be founded on the Holy Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died without time to prepare, that the Lord will embrace them in love. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our And we pray especially in union with our Holy Father for an end to the conflict in Ukraine for peace in Ukraine and for uh, peace in the world, uh, that we may do everything in our power to avoid uh, the evil of war. We pray to the Lord. We also pray for all of those, uh, uh, the 10 souls who uh, died, who were killed in the uh, tragic shooting uh, in uh, Buffalo at a shopping center. We pray for the repose of their souls and for the consolation of their families, and also for an end to the sin of racism. We pray to the Lord. Father, through these Easter celebrations, renew your people in zeal to speak and live the gospel, that the church may truly be a living sacrament of salvation for all men. Through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, through the prayers of St. Margaret, may the sacrifice of reconciliation we offer you gain for us the full pardon we desire. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to us. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the the body and blood of our of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Margaret of Cortona, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your program church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Stephen our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Precepti salutaribus moniti, et divina institutione formati, ademus dicere, ademus te, Da propitius pacem in diebus nostris, Europe misericordia tui adiuti, era peccato simus semper liberi, era omni perturbatione securi, expectantes beatam spem, era pantum salvatoris nostri, Jesu Christi. <coughs>
Domine Jesu Christe, cur existi apostolis tuis, patrem elenquo vobis, patrem eamdo vobis, ner respicias peccata nostra, sed fidem ecclesiae tuae, eamque secola voluntatem tuam pacificare equatunare dinieris, qui vivis a regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Ax Domini sit semper vobiscu, Ece anius Dei, ece qui tolit peccata mundi, beati qui acenam agni focati sunt. Domine nos dinius, urinti et subtectum, sed antum di perro, et nobitur. Despite the increase of sin, grace has far surpassed it. As sin reigned through death, may grace reign by way of justice, leading to eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. For those who cannot now receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we offer the following prayer. My good Lord, my dear Jesus, I am sorry for having wounded thy loving heart by my sins, because thou art infinitely good, and sin displeases thee. Like the beloved disciple, let me rest upon thy heart, and let me grieve together with thee for the outrages that are committed against thee in this sacrament of thy love. I give thee my heart and my love, if my poor love can comfort thee. I love thee above all things, and I desire to possess thee within my soul. Since I am unable now to receive thee sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, and nourish my soul unto life everlasting. Let my soul, O Lord, feel thy sweetness. Let me taste how sweet thou art, O Lord, that being a Lord by thy love, I may never sin by running after worldly pleasures. Thou art the God of my heart, and the God that is my portion for ever. O thou Lamb of God, who takest away the sins of the world, take away from me whatever may hurt me and displease thee. Give me thy love and thy grace. May the sweet flame of thy love consume my soul, that I may die to the world for the love of thee, as thou hast died upon the cross for the love of me. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty God, may the offering of the divine mystery on this feast day of St. Margaret enlighten and inflame us that we may ever burn with holy desires and abound in good works. Through Christ our Lord. Dominus <clears throat> Vobiscu. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus.
Lord, bless our family, all of us now together, those far away, all who are gone back to you. May we know joy, may we bear our sorrows in patience. Let love guide our understanding of each other, let us be grateful to each other. We have all made each other what we are. O family of Jesus, watch over our family. Amen. My Rome. Welcome back to Jones Rome. Today I'm going to tell you about perhaps one of the best kept secrets of the Eternal City. The thousands of Madonelle. These are the little shrines to Our Lady. Madonna meaning Our Lady. There are thousands of them all over Rome. They date from the 17th century to many beautiful mosaic ones made in the 20th century. And actually, this goes back to the days when the early Romans devoted small shrines on the sides of buildings or intersections of roads to their pagan gods. Well, time passed, and Catholics, Christians, took up this idea, and they built little shrines to their favorite saints, most of whom actually were Our Lady. Now, all over Rome, what you want to do as you're driving around, walking around, is look up to perhaps the first story of a building. And you will see Madonnas that are in mosaic. They're wood, they're frescoed, they're terracotta. Many of them are behind, they're very, very old, and to protect them from the elements, they are behind glass. Some of them are encased in very beautiful frames. And sometimes the frames are so ornate, they can be wood, they can be usually cement. They're so ornate, they draw your attention even more than the Madonna. And some of them have little, like, canopies over them. They can be made, some out of metal, mostly out of cement, to protect the images. A number of the images are very famous for having reported miracles. Five of them are recognized by the church here in Rome as having moved their eyes. This occurred in 1796, July 1796. Napoleon's troops were coming into the city and there are five particular Madonnas. We've looked at one of them, the Madonna of the Archetto, of the archway, who over a period of three weeks moved their eyes because they were just couldn't believe that Napoleon was coming into the city. But there are other stories. There are stories of healings connected with devotion to some of the particular shrines. Now what should be noted is that many, especially the older shrines, they have a place for candles, many of them have a place for flowers. There was a shrine near an apartment of mine one time, had fresh flowers every week. And I learned that a man had dedicated a certain amount of money to our local parish in honor of his wife for fresh flowers to be put on this shrine every day. But there is a special story connected with the candles. In the olden days when Rome did not have street lighting and a lot of the shrines had candles in them, this was the light that actually allowed people to walk down the streets. This was the only light provided in some of Rome's city streets. So when you come to the Eternal City, don't look down, look up. Look at the buildings, look at the corner of the buildings, look over doorways, and you will, you're bound to see one of these thousands of Madonelle, of little Madonnas. For more insights into the daily life here in Rome, check out my daily blog, Jones Rome, on EWTN.com. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered, and being made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Hebrews chapter 5, verse 8.
TN. Live truth. Live Catholic. EWTN invites you to join us in this rosary as we pray for peace in Ukraine. During this month of devotions to the Blessed Virgin Mary, we will continue to pray the Holy Rosary, which she recommended to us in her apparitions at Fatima and Lourdes. After offering this spiritual bouquet of roses to Mary, we will then seek her aid and protection using a prayer of St. Bernard of Clairvaux. We offer this Holy Rosary for the intentions of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, for the special intentions of our community, in union with our Holy Father, for peace in Ukraine and for an end to the conflicts uh, and for an end to war uh, and also for the repose of the souls of those who died in the Buffalo shooting. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ his only Son our Lord who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell on the third day. He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven <clears throat> and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. For greater faith, hope, and charity, hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, <clears throat> and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Oh, Lord, 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 Lord,
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. joyful mystery is the nativity of our Lord. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, and now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Fourth joyful mystery, the presentation of our Lord in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all the souls to heaven, and especially those most in need of thy mercy. The fifth joyful mystery is the finding of the child Jesus in the temple. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. <clears throat> blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us in peace, and now and at the hour of the Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Lord of God, pray for us in Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, Father, forgive us Father, our sins, save, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Father, Pope Francis, and his intentions, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The prayer to Our Lady of St. Bernard of Clairvaux, together. Run, hasten, O Lady, and in your mercy help your sinful servant, who calls upon you, and deliver us from the hands of the enemy, who will not sigh to you, we sigh with love and grief, for we are oppressed on every side. How can we do otherwise than sigh to you, O solace of the miserable, refuge of outcasts, ransom of captives? We are certain that when you see our miseries, your compassion will hasten to relieve us. O our sovereign lady and our advocate, commend us to your son, Grant, O blessed one, by the grace which you have merited, that he who through you was graciously pleased to become a partaker of our infirmity and misery, may also through your intercession make us partakers of his happiness and glory. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
The Paschal candle is the large candle blessed on Holy Saturday, symbolizing Jesus as the light of the world. Within the candle are five grains of incense commemorating Christ's wounds. It is used in the